We are Devo. And you are watching LP33.tv. 30 years ago when we sprung the idea of de-evolution on the world, we were looked at as frightening crackpots and art school uh, smart asses. And in the 30 years since, people go, oh yeah, de-evolution, right, sure. And it's happened and we live in a devolved society, all of us. The stuff that we were afraid of would happen, happened. So we were unfortunately absolutely right. If things are gonna unravel, they must have had to have unraveled. In other words, people couldn't keep it together. And now that it's gone down, it's kind of like the 60s letting it all hang out. People are now getting really honest because they realize we're all on the Titanic together. Devo's the house band and let's celebrate as we go down. The alcoholic thing about having to hit the bottom, we might have bottomed out as a species. And, oh yeah. And uh, with any luck, we have. And um, you know, we can start addressing real problems. I agree with Mark and Jerry. <laughs> Say, whip it. Whip it good. When we were forming in the mid-70s, the kind of music landscape and culture landscape we faced was horrible stadium bands, guys with really long hair and platform shoes, and we just took everything and scrapped it. We started with all the things we would not do, and what we were left with was cheap industrial outfits. We didn't have a bunch of money or somebody backing us, so we had to be practical. And we just took all the junk and crap out of it. Right, and we were lightning rods for hostility back in those days too, so we needed safety gear. When a problem comes along, you must whip it. Well, we hope that when our new record comes out, that people get what they always liked about Devo and at the same time get something they never thought we would do. And we think we've hit that, but not on purpose. We just hit it by being us. When we chose Barbara Streisand to produce this album, we were a little nervous at first, but it's worked out really well. Especially since she replaced a lot of the vocals. Well, the focus group said that that was a good idea, so. Yeah. I, I try not to think too far ahead because it's frustrating. Like thinking even beyond this record and tour is an exercise in disappointment. So many things that you think about don't happen. We already have a backlog of ideas. The problem is just even doing one idea. So we're gonna try to do this present idea and take it, you know, one tour at a time. <laughs>